So hi, I'm Phil Chilson. I'm with the School of Meteorology and I'm happy to share with you some experiences and about the book that we recently published, co-authored with another professor in the School of Meteorology, um, Robert Palmer. And the book is called, quite simply, Atmospheric Radar. This book is unique in that it's a different type of radar than most meteorologists are used to working with. Most people associate weather radar with being a radar which is observing storms and precipitation and things of that variety. But there's a whole other class of radar which looks at clear air. So when you have no precipitation in the sky whatsoever, no hail, um, you can still pick up very amazing signatures about the state of the atmosphere, the dynamics, the amount of turbulence that might be present. And not only that, you're not limited to just the lower atmosphere. So most people in this field are focused on the lowest um, portion, the, the troposphere, which is fine. But this class of radar will actually sample <clears throat> way above the troposphere. It'll go into the troposphere, the stratosphere, mesosphere, hence the name of mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere radar, or quite simply, we usually call them an MST radar. So this um, particular book that we have put out fills a, a niche, which, so there's been this missing component of atmospheric radar descriptions for a long time. You've, you've, people have not put as much time and energy into evaluating how these radars, which point vertically as opposed to scanning horizontally, and what kind of signal processing you need, what's the physics behind the, the radar scatter. There are chapters maybe in a book here and a book there, which you can um, find, but actually a dedicated book on vertically pointing radars looking at the atmosphere from the ground up into the upper reaches of the atmosphere has not been present. So usually it's been communicated through lecture notes or publications, what have you. So this will be a nice textbook for students who really want to dig in to uh, understanding how these types of radars work, how you can you know, bring them into their research, looking at vertical motions of the atmosphere in the absence of precipitation, and maybe even expand up into looking at other features like the ionosphere, how radio waves scatter off of electrons, how radio waves scatter off of um, plasma channels caused by lightning, or plasma channels caused by meteors that ablate in the atmosphere. So it's a whole different um, world compared to what most you know, radar um, scientists think about when they talk about you know, weather radar. Okay, so we, I have known Dr. Palmer since the time when I was a PhD student. He, he was a postdoc at the same university where I was getting my PhD. And we were both working in this field of um, MST radar, these mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere radars. Um, he was something of a mentor for me back then, but then we became colleagues as I got my PhD and I started working in Europe and I would invite him over and we would um, do joint projects, joint collaborations. So we've had a long history in this type of radar long before we came to the the School of Meteorology and somewhat changed our research um, focus. So this was a project that has been stewing in the works for the last, I would say, 10 years. Um, it takes a long time to put a, a book of this magnitude together. Not, that's not to say that we were working on it for the last 10 years continuously, but kind of tossing ideas back and forth and also working with our other co-authors as well. So they've also played a know, a, a large role in putting this book together. So the lead author is um, Professor Wayne Hawking in Canada. He's been a strong proponent for these types of vertically pointing um, radar. Then there's um, Jürgen Rutger, who is from the Max Planck Institute, which is where I did my postdoc. So that's how I got to know him. And he was also the director of the ISCAT facility. That's the in European Incoherent Scatter radar, so that's you know, where you start scattering radio waves off of individual electrons in the ionosphere. So I've known him for a long time, and then through Dr. Palmer's connections with Japan, that's where he did his postdoc, um, Toro Sato is one of the co-authors. 
So we have just come together largely under the drive and leadership of Professor Wayne Hawking. Um, we started pulling together chapters, writing the components of the book, and it wasn't, we didn't want this to be a book where one author writes one chapter, so everything was kind of homogeneously written and then we just all kind of put our name to it. I think what's nice about bringing the technologies from this um, book maybe into the weather radar community is that you will find techniques that have been established in the MST radar community for decades, but they're only now coming into vogue into the weather radar community. So it's nice to have this cross-fertilization between a conventional weather radar community and sometimes people call these wind profilers, wind profiling community. Um, so you can learn a lot by joining these different research topics, um, having exchange of ideas, and then people can maybe flip through the book and pick up a different technique that might apply to their research which they had never even considered before.